Welcome back guys and in this video we are going to see that how to switch between multiple windows and how to handle multiple windows using your selenium web driver script right so for this i have selected you know the salesforce.com so i have typed here you know salesforce and then you need to navigate to the home page of salesforce.com right so we went to the home page okay now you can see here a green button saying start my free trial okay so if we click over this green button then you can see another window open right another tab open so this is what multiple windows are okay so this is how multiple window opens so if you you know first navigate to salesforce.com home page and then you click over this green button after navigating it it will open a child window right so if you want to type your first name in the child window will you be able to type no right you won't be able to type your first name why because by default the script has control over the parent window okay this is the parent window and this is the child window okay this is the child window so the first window which you open by default the script has control over it it does not know that it needs to go to first this window and then click over here and then type some you know text over here for example hello hello from id okay for example you want to type this so script doesn't knows that it needs to go over here the child window and then type hello from id right so we need to switch to the child window in order to use the web element or play with the web elements of the child window okay by default it cannot happen i will show you right so for example let me show you let me open the script and here we have the let me remove this from the previous videos okay we here we have the you know main method and we have invoked our chrome browser right and then we have maximized the window right here driver is the object of the chrome driver class okay so i am writing here driver dot get so we will navigate to the uh, salesforce.com home page right so uh, this was the home page url so copying this and pasting it over here so this is the home page right and then we need to find the green button right so we need to find the green button so inspecting this and you can see there will be a span tag you know responsible for this particular start my free trial green button so let me copy the xpath of this particular green button copying the xpath and then writing here driver dot find element and then by dot xpath right xpath and then pasting it over here and then we need to click over the green button click right closing the line right so the green button will be clicked and child window will be opened right so for example child window is has opened and you need to type something over here so we need to inspect it right so this particular input tag is responsible for this particular you know first name placeholder and uh, let me you know okay let me create a custom x path for this control f so input is the tag and name is the attribute i'll be using and its value is user first name so let me copy it and now i'll write here double slash input and then square brackets and then at the rate name is equals to single inverted commas and then value so this is how we create the xpath right so this is unique xpath one of one right so let me copy it control c and then minimizing this and then since we have now the child window opened we are trying to you know type something over the first name placeholder right so driver dot find element and then by xpath and then we have created the custom xpath and i'll be pasting it over here okay and then we will send keys for example hello from it okay let us see that whether it will be able to type or not so i am running the script so the chrome browser will be opened and then it will maximize the window and then it opened the home page salesforce.com and then it will click over green button right let it click and then child window open start my free trial page open and it did not type anything right it did not type anything in the first name why this happened this happened because we have not switched to the child window by default the script does not knows that it you know needs to move from here the home page to the child window or the start my free trial page and then click over here and type something right so how can we tell the script you can see you can see the error no such element unable to locate element by xpath this okay and this xpath we have created for the first name placeholder 
this particular placeholder okay you can see this is the x path we created right so what can we do how can we tell the script to switch for this we will use the window handles method right get window handles okay so after you know opening the home page and then after clicking over the start my free trial button we have two windows open and then we can write here driver dot get window handles okay so when get window handles returns a set of strings so we will be storing these uh, window handles in a set of strings so set of string right and then i'll name it wh which means window handles whs okay window handles right and then we need to import set from java.util okay imported the set and here it got imported right so closing the line now we have the window handles let me print it okay system dot out dot println and then we will print the whs okay whs right so we have printed the whs over the console okay now what we will do is that we need to you know iterate through the window handles right in order to uh, switch to the child window for example uh, what is iterating iterating means for example you have window handles then you need to move to the child window handle only then you can access the web elements present over the child window handles first let me run this particular script and then show you let me comment out this line and then show you how window handles are getting printed okay so running this particular script it will open the chrome browser open the home page salesforce.com and then click over the start my free trial green button and then yeah child window open right start your free trial you know uh, page open right this is the uh, child window this is the parent window okay so now what i wanted to tell you see here you have string okay two strings this is the parent window and this is the child window right now what we need to do is to iterate so first you need to move here and then you need to move here right so suppose there is a ladder and you need to climb down this is the parent window and this is the child window right so in order to climb down you need a method iterator which will iterate over the uh, you know window handles and then select the child window here we have window handles as the you know object or the variable having the window handles right so these two window handles are present in the whs variable so now let me type here whs dot right iterator so iterator is the method which we will be using in order to iterate through the you know window handles this this window handle and this window handle okay so now what we need to do let me show you uh, graphically that what iterator does right so for example here we have you know the parent window and the child window okay and then here comes the iterator right so iterator will be sitting over the parent window and child window here we have some string right here we have some string of the parent window and here we have some string of the child window okay the string which i am mentioning here is you know this and this right so the iterator will you know first move here right and then it will move here how it will move we need to write iterator dot next okay there is a method which is known as dot next or next method which will make the iterator to move from you know parent window first and then child window when you will write iterator dot next it will move to parent window and when again you will write iterator dot next it will move to child window right so i hope you understood that what iterator is okay it will iterate through the parent window and the child window is step by step when you will write iterator dot next and then iterator dot next right so let me show you in the script what we need to do so let me show you that this iterator method returns string of iterator okay so let me type here iterator string right and we will create a variable or object for example it okay it means iterator okay we need to import the iterator from java.util so import iterator from java.util okay import the iterator from java.util and it got you know imported over here okay simple now what we need to do we need to write it dot next so 
this is the first time we are writing it.next right this is the first time we are writing it.next and what happens when we write the first time it.next for example if you write here it right dot next what will happen do not mind my uh, you know handwriting because i'm writing with the mouse okay so if we write here it.next what will happen it will move to the parent window okay and then if again you will write here it.next right if again you will write here it dot next right then what will happen it will move to the child window okay so you need to write it.next in order to move to parent window and then again will if you will write it.next it will move to child window i hope it was clear so now the first time we typed it will move to the parent window so i'll write here you know what is the return type of next it is string okay so let us store this in a string type of variable so string parent window right pw because we have written it the very first time and then again if we we'll write it.next it will move to the child window right okay string child window cw right so now here we have the parent window and the child window okay so what now we need to do since we have you know uh, got the uh, child window in the cw kind of variable so let us write here driver dot switch to and then window cw right so now our script has the control over the child window okay have you understood now our script has the control over the child window okay and now we can uncomment this line this line what was this line this was nothing but we were finding the you know locator of this particular first name which is present on the child window right and we are sending some keys hello from it okay so yeah okay so saving this particular script and now showing you how it will type hello from it over your child window so running the script let us see the chrome browser will open and salesforce.com homepage will open right and then it will click over the green button start my free trial button and then it clicked over the start my free trial button and let us see whether it is able to type hello for mighty see it typed hello for mighty right so why was it able to type because we have this time switched to the child window right okay we have switched to the child window right so this is how we switch between the windows and this is how uh, these you know particular methods are used in order to perform switching between the windows right so for example if you want to get the title of the parent window then again you need to you know driver dot switch to dot window and then we need to write here parent window right so now the control is again over the parent window and then you can write here driver dot get title okay and then you print this particular title right so control c right here system dot out dot println and then paste it over here right remove this so now we can print the title of the parent window right so let me move this up okay so saving the script and this time title will also be printed over here what is the title of the parent window this is crm software cloud computing solutions for every business right this will be printed let me minimize and then save the script once again and then running it okay so it will open the you know chrome browser home page of the salesforce.com it opened and start my free trial button will be clicked see it opened the start my free trial it typed hello from it and it closed right so let me minimize and you can see this time it switched to the parent window right and then it printed the you know title of the parent so it typed you know hello from it 
over here and then it switched to the parent window last appearing window was this only right when the script closed when i minimized the script right and then it you know printed this particular uh you know title of this web page okay so this is how you know switching between the windows is done it is a very important video and a very important concept right so we'll meet in the next video till then keep revising keep learning and keep watching thank you